through welding system is a complete rigid frame welder. The Franklin system consists of three major components. The WS-72 web splice station, the TS-72 tack station, and the main PTW-72 pull-through welding system. The WS-72 is a 72-inch web splice welding station with a Lincoln AC-DC PowerWave SD-1000 amp submerge arc welding system. The WS-72 web splice incorporates a full overhead platform for the Lincoln welding equipment and the flux recovery system. An integrated ladder and handrail system provides the operator safe access to the platform area for wire and flux maintenance. The dual row magnet gantry provides lifting and placing of the web sections onto the infeed conveyor. An optional web rotator device allows the operator to rotate the web 180 degrees while the web is being transferred to the storage area or from the plasma table outfeed conveyor. The infeed and outfeed conveyor incorporates a set of hydraulic pushers for squaring the web sections prior to weld splicing. The hydraulic pushers allow the operator to easily move and square even the heaviest web plates from the operator's control station. The Franklin WS-72 web seamer has a unique magnetic pull-down system. The pull magnets are mounted from the bottom side, leaving the top of the web plates open for operator access to perform the welding operation. The open work area allows the operator to add weld tabs and monitor the welding being performed. After the weld seam is complete, the magnetic pull-down clamps can be dropped down below the pass line of the copper backup plate. The side datum guides that align the straight side of the web plates also drop with the clamp assembly that allows the weld tabs to be conveyed out for easy removal. The Franklin WS-72 web seamer has infeed and outfeed lift rolls that are mounted directly to the magnetic clamp assembly. When the clamp assembly is dropped down, the lift rolls are pivoted up, which lifts the web from the copper backup plate and prevents the web plate from dragging across the copper backup. The Franklin WS-72 web seamer has a copper bar backup with a machined flux groove that can be machined to the customer's specifications. The copper backup plate is easily removed and rotated or replaced. The copper backup plate is mounted in a T-slotted clamp design on top of an aluminum subplate that provides a four-pass cooling system. The Franklin TS-72 tack station is used to fit up the leading edge of the three-piece beam. The lead edge of the beam is then tack welded prior to advancing to the main PTW-72 welding system. The Franklin TS-72 tack station has numerous unique material handling designs for the rotating and conveying of each flange. The two flanges are placed on each flange rotate conveyor and are hydraulically rotated to the vertical position. Once the flanges are in the vertical position, they are located just slightly above the main conveyor rolls that are used to convey the web plate into the tack station. This allows the two flanges to be positioned and clamped into the tack station prior to the web plate. The two flanges and the web can all be independently positioned as needed for quick alignment and fit up. The flange rotators provide a safe and efficient means of positioning the flanges from small to large. Large 20 inch by 1 and 1 quarter inch flanges are rotated and positioned easily with one operator. The driven magnetic rolls provide forward and reverse positioning. The independent driven flange conveyors allow the operator to position the inside and outside of flanges prior to receiving the web section. The hydraulic swing clamps and lower web lift units provide four separate lifting points for quick fit-up of the web to flange locations. The swing clamp assembly also acts as the flange stop and is fully adjustable across the complete stop gate. 
the vertical stop gate is hydraulically dropped down to allow the fabricated frame to exit the tack station. The vertical movement of the stop gate allows the outfeed conveyor to be positioned closer to the tack station, which eliminates the need of a large gap in the line. The Franklin PTW-72 pull-through horizontal welding system is the most technically advanced automated rigid frame welder in the world. Integrated with twin Lincoln AC-DC PowerWave SD 1000 amp submerged arc welders and Max SA controls, the Franklin PTW-72 can weld rigid frames with a web capacity up to 72 inches wide. The optional PTW84 can produce frames with webs up to 84 inches wide. The PTW72 provides the operator easy access to the CNC control panel and the Lincoln Max SA welding controls. Many of the repetitive operator functions are automatically controlled by the Franklin CNC control panel. As each beam is started into the PTW72 welder, the operator can manually or automatically start the weld cycle from the touch panel control. Several key production parameters are provided in the CNC control display. Parameters such as travel speed in inches per minute, arc time, and total feet welded are just a few of the parameters provided. The Franklin PTW72 has two unique designed weld head assemblies. The weld heads are heavy one-piece aluminum construction to prevent magnetism. The solid copper one-piece 1000 amp contact assembly is vertically guided in the main weld head. The contact assembly supports two 1 16th inch or 5 64th inch wires that is known as twin arc. The contact assembly has a solid one-piece tip that can be precisely adjusted in and out of the corner to provide the exact electrode stick-out required. The flux delivery is integrated eternally within the main weld head. The flux control is done with a hardened rotary pneumatic shutoff valve immediately above the drop point. The PTW72 has a large overhead platform that is designed to support four 1,000-pound Lincoln wire packs or drums. The overhead platform also supports the flux recovery system. The flux recovery vacuum system takes the unused flux and returns it to the primary separator for reuse. The operator's control panel provides full control of each weld head with a motor-driven vertical adjustment of the contact assembly. The wire to corner location can be precisely controlled by the operator during the welding process. Each weld head with its heavy-duty construction and hydraulic slide assembly also serves as the hold down for the web plate. The weld head pivots plus or minus 15 degrees and follows the contour of the tapered side of the beam being welded. The corner tracking wheel maintains constant pressure to the flange and web. This precise corner positioning allows the weld head to position the twin wires directly into the corner fillet. In automatic mode, all clamps and ground shoes are automatically released. The Franklin PTW72 is equipped with pneumatic dual-acting ground shoes. The drag-type copper ground shoe has proven to be the best possible grounding method for high amperage welding. The twin pivot design allows the ground shoe to stay parallel to the flange. The ground shoe can also pivot plus or minus 15 degrees for various frame configurations. The copper ground shoes are completely isolated from the main machine frame. The hydraulic clamping and driving components are powered by an efficient Franklin Design 80 gallon hydraulic power unit. The touch screen control system gives the operator various parameters and settings for weld speed, clamp cycles, flux release, and total footage welded. The optional power brush is manually adjustable by the operator for various beam sizes. The power brush is designed to remove any loose powdered flux or weld slag on the beam. The rotational speed of the powered brush is adjustable for optimal results. The optional decambering device is provided to remove any camber in lightweight small beams due to heat distortion. The three-point hydraulic push system is adjustable in width and the hydraulic pressure can be adjusted at the operator's control panel. Franklin provides several material handling options for removing and transferring finished frames from the outfeed conveyor of the PTW72 system. These handling systems include lift and carry transfers, chain type transfers, and overhead crane systems. 
In some cases, the requirements for welding all four corners of the beam is needed to meet certain codes and requirements. Franklin provides a beam rotating device that can rotate the beam 180 degrees prior to entering a second PTW72 welding machine to weld the opposite side. The Franklin PTW72 pull-through welding system, built to the highest engineering and highest quality standards in the industry. Franklin designs and provides many special systems, such as the Perlin clip machine with a high-speed air feeder. Many metal building manufacturers use standard weld-on clips for various building connections. These clips can be used in high quantity and can be very labor-intensive to fabricate. The Franklin Perlin clip machine has a 100-ton punch with a quad pattern four-hole die set that produces Perlin clips in high volume. The shearing system and the punch cycles simultaneously to produce a finished clip every three seconds. The Franklin Z Perlin stacking system is designed to integrate directly behind an existing Perlin mill. Finished Z Perlins up to 14 inches can be conveyed and automatically stacked. As each Perlin is discharged, the trailing edge is squared up even in the stack. As the stack is accumulated, the stacker automatically gauges the size of the stack and indexes down. Once the stack cycle is complete, the bundle is automatically moved down to the unload transfer. Franklin Manufacturing, building the machines that make your buildings better. With over 30 years of experience in the pre-engineered building market, no other machine manufacturer can provide you, the customer, every piece of machinery for the complete production of rigid frame metal buildings. For projects that require you to fabricate hot rolled structural steel, Franklin also provides a complete product line of heavy CNC drill lines, beam lines, saw lines, angle lines, plasma punch plate fabricators, and material handling. Contact Franklin Sales for additional information on structural systems.